As a reminder to uh, everybody listening, after the program's over, we're going to dinner at El Arroyo on 5th Street. The address is on your screen. Today's February 17th, 2008. Any atheist or atheist-friendly person is welcome to come down and join us. Uh, have a good meal, some drinks, conversation. Um, I guess we, you want to take, yeah, we want to take one more call since sure. you know, I think this one may actually kind of relate to Governor Perry. Is it Dan? Yeah. How hey. you doing, Dan? Good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I, I uh, first want to say I uh, like your show. Um, I you. caught it randomly on by accident once, and I had just uh, like watching ever since. Um, Great. Thanks. I work up. I work up at the Capitol. Um, I was glad to hear you mention uh, the Perry stuff. I hear the things that I don't know if you were aware of that go on up there, but during session, um, they actually uh, have a prayer every morning on the Senate floor before yeah. session starts. Like that's, that. that's actually common at all levels of government. And on the one hand, um, I, I, I would tend to object to it because I, I think that it does qualify as a government endorsement of religion. But most most bodies that I've seen uh, try to do a pretty good job of spreading it around to where even some of them have invited atheists and agnostics in to give course a secular devotional. Um, unfortunately, on the, on the few times that it's happened, the religious folks get all pissed off and upset about how dare you invite some atheist in here to talk to us and march out. Even a Hindu, though. Yeah, just, yeah. and they do the same thing to a Hindu. Yeah. So I, I personally think that the best thing we can, you know, as much as I'd like to allow people, you know, I talked about not checking your religion at the door just because you're in public office. As much as I'd like to allow this process to continue, and, and it's, it's impractical and evidently, based on the reaction of some people, impossible. For us to, to to implement this practice fairly, so I think it needs to go away. Let let them get to work. Pray before they get there. Pray pray outside in the hallway before the session starts. We don't need to do it officially. Yeah. Well, I, I want to ask you one question. I'll I'll hang up after I ask it. But um, <coughs> um, you mentioned the ACLU lawsuits. Do you know of any other um, legal actions that have been taken? I mean, in, in the past or otherwise about stuff like just religion in in government, like prayers on the Senate floor. Or, uh, moment yeah. FFRF is probably a place that could. Freedom from Religion Foundation yeah. has done a lot from it. You can go to FFRF.org. Actually, Michael Newdow has a new case right now to try and get under God out of the pledge again. Um, yep. He's been kind of shopping this around to, to different. The problem with his original case was that he didn't have standing. So now he's actually working as a lawyer representing other people um, trying to get this removed. And we talked about this a little bit yesterday on the nonprofits because. There, people have been commenting on what Newdow's doing and just saying all kinds of horrible things. We need to ship him off to, to China if he doesn't want to live in a country that acknowledges God. He's, he's ignoring our Christian heritage. And, and people, I kid you not, oops, sorry. Um, I, I, I kid you not, a lot of people, some people aren't going to find this surprising at all, and some people are just going to say that I'm wrong. But they'll post on there, Things that, like, a fact is a fact. You need to go read the writings of, the, of our founding fathers who founded this nation as a Christian nation on biblical principles. Yeah, you're right. A fact is a fact. And your facts are completely wrong. Fractally wrong. I get to use that one again. There, there's a lot of good information out there. People, you know, I kid you not, they stand there and they suggest, you should go read this. Well, those of us who have know how wrong you are. During the, Constitu during the Continental Congress, People tried to inject God and Jesus and other religious ideas into the Constitution, and without fail, every single time, they were voted down. That doesn't mean that all the Founding Fathers and those members of the First Continental Congress were, were atheists and agnostics. No, they weren't. They were Christians. They were deists. They were you know, Puritans, Lutherans, Presbyterians. They were agnostics. They were atheists. Uh, very few probably use the atheist label because in, in what we'll maybe get to here yeah, shortly yeah. is what the terminology, what it means and which one's in vogue or, or subject to use at any given time has changed. But the fact of the matter is the United States Constitution is based on secular principles that came out of the German free thought movement. It's a government of the people, by the people, for the people. The rights of the govern the rights of the government are, are derived from or, the power of the government is derived from the rights of the governor, the permission of the governor. Correct. I got it all completely wrong. The point is, it's not, you can say we're a Christian nation, and you know what? 
I'll agree with you. As long as all you mean is that the majority of people in the United States are Christian. But by that reasoning, we're a white nation, we're a female nation, we're a heterosexual nation. Um, you, you can make anything like that. Well, but what you're really saying is the United States was founded on Christian principles. No, it wasn't. Not to, not to any degree more than any other principles. I mean, the, the principles that you want to identify as Christian that the United States were based, was based on, um, some of them I can't find in Christianity at all. Um, the, the idea of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, um, the, the idea of freedom of religion, seem to kind of violate the I am the Lord thy God, thou shalt have no other gods before me, um, and, you know, the, the prohibitions against all kinds of things. It's just nuts. And so these people are like, oh, we need to chuck new Dow out. How dare he? Uh, I'll tell you how he dares, because he's protected by the Constitution. And you know what he's doing? He's trying to protect the Constitution that protects him. Under God wasn't added to the pledge until the 50s under McCarthyism. It wasn't in there originally. And by the way, the pledge isn't from the founding fathers. It was written in the 1890s. And, and the same thing with in God we trust in the money. But we're getting way off track.